Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the first official update for Windows 11 22H2. For those of you who don't know, Windows 11 22H2 was released on the 20th of September, and today we received the first official update for the OS, which is the build 22621.608. To install this new update on Windows 11 22H2 on the main release, on the official build, all you need to do is to go into the settings app and then into Windows Update and check for updates. Even if you have an unsupported or incompatible system, you should receive this update because it is a preview update with patches and quite a bunch of improvements, which we're going to talk about in this video. If you enjoy videos like these, where we talk about different Windows 11 builds or updates, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in Windows 11 22H2, Microsoft fixed an issue that causes the Microsoft Store to fail or to not launch or crash, which is good news because I've encountered this before. And now the Microsoft Store should be working properly and um, should be reliable. Microsoft also added more dynamic widgets content to the taskbar with notification badging. When you open the widgets board, a banner appears at the top of the board. It provides more information about what triggered the notification badge. This is actually interesting and it is really good. And also Microsoft addressed an issue of some Microsoft Store apps that were installed and after the update to Windows 11 22H2, they weren't working. That should be now fixed and you should no longer need to reinstall certain apps that you had previously in the 21H2 update. Also regarding the Microsoft 365, Microsoft addressed an issue that stops you from signing in to various apps such as Outlook, Word, Teams, and so on. Also, the Windows search should be faster because they addressed an issue that affects the Windows search service and that caused the indexing process for the service to be really slow. Now this should be faster. Also, they addressed an issue regarding the task manager and now if, if you switch between the light mode and the dark mode task manager should no longer crash stop working that is also really really nice and other than that a lot of fixes and improvements to the system you're gonna have the whole list of that in the article below in the description I've talked about some of the most important and interesting in my opinion that are in this new build but if you ask me you need to install this build because it fixes a lot of small little issues and bugs that came up with the Windows 11 22 h2 update and of course you're gonna have more info in the article below in the description and also a link to the official Microsoft post where they explain everything about this new update. And of course, as always, Microsoft updated the service in stack, which ensures that you have a reliable Windows update service that is also really nice. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.